folks, Domino 64 here, and this is another Third Age Total War Divine Conquer. This is version 4.5, Eridon Rises. This is the Harridan Tribes, episode 57. Now, I do apologize, I've been away. Um, I've actually had a computer malfunction. We've had a holiday, and sadly, um, last week I uh, had a death in the family, and that sort of put uh, all the fun out of life for a while. So I'm back and I'm not sure what's happening. Um, but here we go. We are going to try and deal with Dol Amroth once and for all. Although they do have a lot of armored troops and they are gonna make a fight. So looks like we have up in the north there, a Dalhond under siege. We've got a navy gonna take Dal Amroth. And they have us under siege at uh, Mustrand or some place like that. Oh, this says it's going to be a narrative. There you are. There's... Oh yeah, sorry, my my um, mic didn't record, so this is going to be a narrative. So there we are at Elderhond under siege. Um, yeah. So I will speed things up because uh, I can. <laughs> And that there's uh, the, uh, I think it's Fallon and someone else, Turlin, attacking us at uh, Mastrand. There's the the uh, navy that's going to come and um, attack Dol Amroth itself with a catapult. So the plan was, or is, to um, take the last two Dol Amroth cities in two turns, literally, next two turns. If we do that... And they haven't been able to capture anything. That's them wiped out. That's the plan. That is the plan. So, I think at this point, I would probably have said something like, that's us all up to date. <laughs> so let's play Total War. So yes, let's go around all the characters, seeing if uh, they've done their move or not. Because I wasn't sure if this is an end turn. Noble one. And I believe... Um, we also have some uh, rebel town to attack. So we will put that to the, to the sword soon enough. An honor to serve. So this is the Noble rebel one. territory that we want to take. Because they can breed uh, yes, train, noble uh, master. Let me kill here. So we scroll through all the agents, all the generals, and uh, those captains that have to be moved, and that takes us to the end of the turn. So let's end the turn and see what happens. Well, first up, we see the Numinous has been rebuilt. I actually read that all out, but in this uh, computer screen, I can't actually read what it says about the ancient city of the Kings of Arnor. But I'm sure you can read it. Yes, noble master. We will engage them honorably. Has the time come to strike?
Looks like Dolan Roth are heading for Lynn here. But they also say Gondor's heading for Lynn here, so I wonder if that's why. So we're now looking for the uh, fleet and its army. Awesome. And it's going to attack Dol Amroth and land there. All being well. Except, I'm not sure where the rebel navy is. There is an Admiral Asgir or something like that back there. And here he is. Ooh, we're lucky. He's gone down to Umbar. He's coming up though. So, <laughs> can I make it to there? I think I can. I think I can. Let's go this for it. This is not an option. If we click on correctly. There All we go. Set. Jobs are given, and up we sail. Like the wind, I'm honored to serve. Slight deviation in plan as Dol and Roth are marching towards this Lynn here. I can bring the second general and actually put Dol and Roth under siege this turn. I can always come back. And attack um, Fallon or Turlin, was it? Um, yeah, you can tell uh, I've been away from the game. I can't remember the enemy generals. Fallon's got away up there. Hmm, interesting. But he's exposed Dal Amroth. Dol Amroth, I should say. He's exposed it. And we've we shall endure us. outside their walls. Lacey. Of course, next turn we should be able to land with the catapults. Awaiting your order to strike. Them, but I'm hoping this will make them turn back and leave Lynn here alone. Although Gondor's going to probably attack Lynn here. Yeah, we're doing all right. Look, look, that's looking good. Overall, we're eight. Yeah, money gets spent. Our empire is big, so there's a lot of building to be done. We're getting in nice retinues. A lot of governors. All my generals are governors. Apart from those marching, obviously. And yep, we are building stuff. So I decided to hold off building stuff just to give money uh, time to come back. Right, time to put uh, this village that the Muma Killer trained under siege. We shall endure outside their wall. Lay siege. Awaiting your order to strike. Right, time to put Adele Holland, Adele Holland on the siege. Unfortunately, this battle doesn't quite play out the way I wanted. I say unfortunately because, as you're about to see, I hit the wrong button, but it's okay. So he is Royal Swan Guard, with his bodyguard, and he's just got two um, sword. What's it called? Sword. And shield infantry. And yep, I hit automatically. I didn't mean to hit this. That shocked me. I was like, what? What? Oh. But it's a clear victory. And job's done. We're in. None of these uh, reinforcements were joining the battle, funny enough. I don't know why that was. They looked close enough. 
thankfully I thought Fallon was gonna have a go at us but he didn't so that's it we um win we take it we have to put the population to the sword exterminate the populace because we have the wrong culture or they have the wrong culture in that uh, city so we um want to reduce the numbers and build it back up again with our own culture and obviously that upset somebody oh there was a mission expired that's what it was that's what that was the mission was to take that port Right, we've taken Belf Balas. So, um, yes, this is the heart of Dal Amroth. So, you'll have to read all that. I did read it out, but um, obviously, you uh, can't now. You can't see it. So that brings up to the end turn, so let's end the turn and see what happens. Lorien raised. Oh, that's Loth Lorien gone. Um, yeah. They, uh, they were north of Rohan, if I remember rightly. We're going to click on this. Um, yeah, that. Locate. Yeah, it is north of Rohan. Don't know who did that. Could be the goblins of Moria. Could be Isengard came round. Because they took out Rohan. But yep, Realm of Lothlorien is no more. Dole Amroth diminishes. Yes, we have taken El Del Holland, and that leaves them just Dole Amroth itself. Not sure what that meant. Woodland Realm. Is that Lothlorien? Who'd just been wiped out? 
so hostility ceased because Isengard wiped them out? I don't know. Right, we have a problem here. <laughs> We've retreated. And we now cannot really enter the port because we're blockading the port with this army. So we have to fight. And fight we will. Yeah, now you can see the problem. Was I can't really change a full army for a full army. Yes, noble master. This will be an honourable battle. So we have to fight to the death, but they don't. However, they also uh, don't. We don't take the town. So uh, see you on the battle map. Because we have to fight this. And fight we will. Noble one. Right, we have to fight them. And fight them we will. So, fight on the battle map. And uh, here we go. Our foes show fear. They have realized that men, not beardless youths, are coming for them. <laughs> Right, I'm going to sort these guys out and um, I'll bring you back. But basically, I've got the uh, archers with spearmen in front, infantry behind, and a little bit of cavalry on one of the flanks. And we're, oh, and I put the uh, um, javelins on the flanks as well. So, see you in a minute. Our foe brings more men to the battle. The first uh, general or captain is taking his men, uh, they are captains commanding these, taking his men up the top of this hill, which is a smart move. So he runs them up to the top. One thing they don't have is archers. They're mostly spear and sword units. There's one javelin unit. They're mostly spear and sword infantry. And... Uh, Although our archers don't have a lot of arrows, we're going to use them to great effect. So now we go to see the second captain, what he's bringing. And again, all infantry. He has axemen who don't have shields, so that's who we're going to concentrate our arrow fire on. And then militia. So, yep, we bring our troops up. I did bring these guys up to try and attack first but uh, I didn't like the way uh, Dol Amroth troops were running into battle into position and they were all on their own so we backed off
Right, Dol and Roth have the high ground, so we've got to keep charging up this hill, this gradual hill, and get into position, ready to fight. But at least, as I say, he doesn't have any missile advantage over us. And in fact, we have quite a good javelin advantage over him as well, with four javelin units to um, his one or two mariner javelin units and we've got just as much infantry as he has and ours are quite good elite infantry too as in our axemen can take on armoured troops our warriors are tough and our other warriors are tough <laughs> the ninja ones whatever the hishari the hishari warriors are good and the troll warriors are good so that's what's happening now we're trying to get everyone into position and that uh, so we can bring fire upon their axemen and these uh, javelin troops. They're the guys we're going to take out first. Now here's the arrow fire coming in now. Try and get the same. Don't want them shooting the uh, guys with the shields. We want to get them shooting the axemen. And any arrows will accidentally hit <laughs> guys with shields. Fair enough, but the axemen don't have any arrow protection apart from their armor. So I bring them all up. To attack the center and the guys on the flank here are gonna take on the mariners there they go with their javelins
Right, the uh, archers are out of ammunition. No more arrows, so it's time to send in the infantry. And we do have some quite elite infantry. So the uh, javelins are on the flanks, firing in their javelins, and they're slowly but surely running out of enemy uh, ammo. Enemy got plenty of enemy, but not plenty of ammo. Uh, the pikemen are engaged, and the uh, our spearmen. That's what they're called, but uh, the three spear units, two pike and one spear. Are going to uh, engage soon enough against and our infantry are going to basically come in on the flanks and then the backs and uh yeah that should do um a lot of damage our uh cover e unit well the two of them they're going to stay out of the battle and wait to see if anyone breaks and routes and then they will charge those units and take them out Ensuring that A, they don't return to battle, B, they do rout and are killed. So, let's carry on. Victory is well within our grasp. Time our foe will surely see this and lose heart.
Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. I'm going to move these Beastmasters back into a better position to charge down the hill and get a charge bonus when they actually crash into these Axemen. I think they're Axemen, are they? And here we go. Half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. enemy flees before us like a herd of goats. Drive them from the battle. Great victories are like sweet nectar. Come, let us drink of the most rare and glorious fruit. Dol Amroth may have been armoured, but we did well. Only 148 to their 885 casualties. Or was that 50? 148, 158? Whatever. We killed them. Have mercy, my lord. I have children to feed. Ah! Your faith and courage have triumphed. And the garrison has been wiped out, Dalamroth, so I can just march straight in. We close for battle. We have prevailed. These are now our people's lands. And that's the end of Dal and Roth. As you saw, uh, their general just turned into a, a rebel. And we can now land this uh, 
naval army, but actually we might use them elsewhere now against Gondor. I'm thinking, I am thinking, is it Lond Galond or something? We have a mission to blockade a port, but maybe we'll take it with this army here. But that's not until the next episode. That's the end of Dollar. So that's the end of that, and um, yeah, I'll tidy up a few things. Um, he's coming forward to deal with the uh, Gondor there, but um, next turn, and we also have the battle down in there for the um, rebel territory. So I'll see you next time for some more. Let's play Total War.